Well, today's project is to trim this blinking uh, Phoenix Palm up. I've been doing it about every 18 months or so, and I thought I'd get away with it. But these branches, they, uh, in the high winds, just rub against the roof in the house. And uh, so you can see just a bit of red stuff up there. Well, that's where she's rubbed through there. So we've got to take about, uh, we've got to take about, let's see if we can get about 30 of these bloody branches off here and make it look like a better tree. We put a drop cloth around under the tree to catch the sawdust shavings and to catch the debris falling down. I didn't want that round the rocks. I'm very mindful of the spikes on the inside aspects of these fronds. If they get into your skin, they really hurt. I've got to keep checking that I'm not getting too lopsided on it. But I work out I get about five five lifts per ring. So that's what we're after, just get these ones here away from rubbing on the building. Those seed heads are still hanging on a bit there. Let's go and have a look from a distance and see if she looks uniform. No, to me that looks uniform enough. They soon reach down and fill up that gap. So at least that uh, it's not, there's none there that are going to rub on the building all this winter anyway. And as it gets higher, there'll be less and less problem with that. But I think we'll call that uh, A-OK. -okay. Next part of the problem is getting rid of these heads here because really they're very fibrous and they don't want them at the dump. As green waste. And so, so this being a fibrous material, it can't go up there in the green waste at the dump. It's got to go in here in the general waste. So we pay by weight and we'll see what happens here. Over she goes into the back. So that's the best place for them. Well, Gary, have a little guess how much that cost to dump that bit of a uh, few fronds off. How much do you reckon they cost? Seventy something dollars. You're dead bloody right. Seventy six. Let's sing that song, Gary. Seventy six <laughs> trombones led the big parade. One hundred and ten cornets close behind. Okay. Well, that's the end of that project, Gary. Yeah. Got anything to say in the world? Over and done with. <laughs>